Hello guys, welcome to a new video. I feel like I haven't filmed a normal chill Arizona video. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I have no idea what I'm doing today. Like, I'm very confused about the plans. I'm literally wearing a sweater because Arizona gets pretty cold. But now that it's getting hot and our AC broke, I have no clothes to wear because all my clothes is winter clothes. I was like, what can I wear? So yeah. My hair looks a bit crazy today. Okay, so I was confused about the plans today because honestly, if you guys know me, I'm always hanging out with Paola and her friends. I feel like Paola's friends are like the closest friends that I have as well. And I have like one and I only see him like once in a while because he moved to Hawaii. And I've been hanging out with girls, but like I feel like I haven't gotten close to any of those girls. He's like asked me to hang out like once in a while. Like I'm actually gonna hang out with one of them like next week. But I still feel like I haven't gotten any close to them. So honestly, like Paola's friends are like my cousins. My sisters and yeah i was like starting to feel like am i invading like paula's friendships like i don't know i was like Ugh, i feel bad i mean i think it's pretty cool when your friends get along with your siblings but i'm like am i just like over invading but yeah honestly all of my sisters and paula's friends will hang out on fridays and i thought they made plans to go to a club so yeah, i was like yeah i'm probably not gonna be able to go to that so all day i just thought that i wasn't gonna be able to hang out today and i was like oh like i'm so confused like i don't know what to do because i have like five videos to edit film two more videos videos or three more videos and i was like yeah i'm like so confused like i don't know what to do with my life right now because i also want to film a tiktok and post more instagram pictures and then i was like oh are you guys going to the club tonight or somewhere and they were like what are you talking about then paula was like actually we were talking about going to get dinner to like this restaurant that we always go to and she was like yeah you can go if you want and then i was like oh i feel so bad and i was like actually i don't think i want to go today because i just feel bad invading paula's space and the world like like, girl what and it's just all in my head like it's literally all in my head because they were like surprised because i think that I was just like included in the plans and i'm like but yeah i'm probably just still gonna go because i have so many things to do i was like yeah i don't want to go but i honestly i would rather go with them my nose is so oily for no reason also i've been trying out um bronzer but i don't think bronzer helps you contour your face if that makes sense like it bronzes your face it doesn't like contour it i've seen a girl contour her nose this way so I want to see what happens. Also, I don't really know what brush to use for my bronzer. But you know what? We're just going to go with whatever I have. I'm like, I don't think this is the right brush. But you know what? We're just going to use it. If you guys have any recommendations. Also, I don't know if I already told you guys. But I want to get better at makeup. Everyone that I'm friends with. Everyone that I know. My sisters. They're just so good at makeup. And then there's me. And I feel like if you know how to do makeup well. You can honestly just go from here to here. And I want to be that girl this summer. I want to be... I wanna be that girl. Okay, but the funny part is that I don't love too much makeup, so I don't really care. At the end of the day, my skin just sucks in all my makeup and it looks like I didn't spend like two hours doing my makeup. And I already take long enough doing my makeup to add more to that, you know, if that makes sense. Oh, I kinda like it. It makes me look more bronze. Cause honestly, I really need a tan right now. I feel like I look a bit dead. I just really love Dior and mixing their lip tints for blush. And I also really like the Glossier blush. So I just mix all of them together and also are you guys proud of me i finally got a brush for my blush which is very rare because i always thought that i would break out but then paula was like Kimena, you don't break out makeup has been looking a bit better i guess with the brushes instead of me using my fingers okay so this concealer is a bit darker on me and i don't want to buy a new one because i know that i'm gonna get tan soon but i mean it kind of suits me also i feel like i've gotten way better at doing my eyelashes okay so i have an old dry mascara just to separate my eyelashes and then i use a new one to make them longer see and then i'm just gonna go over with the other mascara today's Coachella day one and i just know that i'm gonna have so much fomo when i look at all the posts later tonight i just lined my under eyes and i'm gonna be adding some powder why does my nose always get so oily like i do not understand just adding so much shadow as my highlighter paula thinks that i do my makeup in such a weird way but honestly i think that's because i grew up watching a lot of french book videos for makeup Parisian vibe get ready with me videos all the french girls they just do their makeup so differently and like in such a unique way or maybe it's just me just got the charlotte tilbury lip liner hot gossip i'm a bit confused about this lip liner because i really like the color but i feel like it erases my mouth but it looks really good on pictures and it also looks very natural if i add this okay it's just a lighting in this bathroom that makes my lips look really weird <laughs>
Hello guys, today's a new day and so if you guys hear any strange noises in the back That's probably Jenny or my mom or my bird I have something new exciting to show you that I just got You guys have actually seen these already on my channel and it's a new this year package and i'm really excited to open the new perfumes that i picked i can't wait to smell all of them so let's do it together so here's the first one it literally feels like christmas opening these if you guys don't know what this year is the series of perfume brand if you guys watch my videos you guys probably already know them so when you open them they look like this and then they come with this little paper right here it tells you what perfume they were inspired on yeah this one is woody sage this is what the perfumes look like. They usually look very cute. They're very good for gift ideas and presents. If you don't know what to get your friends, such a great gift idea. If you don't know what to give your moms for Mom's Day, which is coming up. Oh my God. Oh my God. This smells so good. So good. Woody Sage is my new favorite one. Like, I'm not even lying. This is like so perfect for the summer. I love it. This is gonna go straight to my bathroom because this one's gonna be my new smell. Honestly, I feel like this could be a smell for both men and women. So that's a really cool thing about the series that anyone can wear them. Okay, so here's the second one. Let's see what's in here. This one is Gourmet Orange Blossom. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Such a cute packaging. It's like literally the perfect size for a gift. It has a very cute yellow green tint to it. Oh, I also really like this one. This one's very girly. I'm like, which one is gonna be my new perfume? Because so far I like both of the first ones that I've tried. And the quality is so good because a little bit goes a long way. Okay, so for the third one, we have citrus tea. This is what citrus tea looks like. This one smells very earthy, very natural, like very summer vibe. I can definitely see my mom using this one. Okay, now the fourth one. Let's see. This one is aromatic watermelon. That sounds interesting. I love how this one is just clear. Looks very cool. Like that would look so nice as decor. Um, let's see what it smells like. Definitely smells very fruity, very girly. Okay, this one is definitely a smell for anyone. And it also kind of smells, it really smells like watermelon. Numero cinco, this is the fifth one. I'm trying to see which one I can give to my mom for Mother's Day. I feel like she would probably love it. This one is floral pearl. This one definitely smells very girly and expensive if you're trying to be fancy, I don't know. And then we have the last one right here. My friend has always loved this year, so she loves going through all my dossier perfumes and finding her new favorite ones. For the last Last one we got Ambry Cherry. Let's see what that smells like. I love this. This literally smells like a cherry. I love this so much. This one's also one of my new favorite ones. This box was so good. Like all the smells. I really love all the smells that I got. Yeah, Ambry Cherry definitely smells like a cherry. So yeah, if you guys want to go check out this year, I actually have a code for you guys, which is Kimono5. And I'll also leave the link down below. Yeah, thank you so much this year. I truly love all the perfumes. I appreciate everything. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you guys in a second. Hello guys, so I'm in my room. And as you guys can probably tell, the lighting in this room sucks. It's not very convenient for a girl like me who's just trying to film her life and yeah just film my life this is my room and yeah i just made some coffee and i wanted to show you i wanted to show you a new top that i got from brandy melville because they opened it i'm so far from you guys i wanted to show you guys a new top that i got from brandy because it's kind of weird on me not gonna lie Okay, this is a brand they top that I got. They opened a new brand in Melville in Arizona. And the store is pretty big. It didn't look like a brand in Melville at all when it first opened. Yeah, I also got um, this. Wait, so I saw that Paula had this and I was like, okay, that's actually pretty cute. Kinda looks like that. But yeah, I never expected a brand in Melville store to open in Arizona. I feel like it was very random, but I think Arizona suits the vibe. Like it fits the brand in Melville aesthetic and Arizona is such a fast growing city right now. Like. I feel like it's becoming an extension of California. I don't know. Like, we need a car box closer to my house, and we also need to join the gym, so. If I 
look tired, that's because I'm tired. I just showered, did my skincare, I had some breakfast for dinner. A British boy told me that he loves having my breakfast for dinner, or he might be Greek. I don't really know. And if he watches this, that's kind of awkward. But yeah, I feel like as a Mexican, I've always done that. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I could literally have, I could literally have pancakes for dinner. And right now I'm entering my fruit era at night again. When it's cold, I like having oats at night. And now I'm like, all I want is fruit. I've been watching Beef, which is like a Netflix show about road rage. But yeah, I'm gonna continue watching my show. Bye. Hello guys, welcome to a new day. I'm sorry if I'm in the bathroom again. I'm literally done with the bathroom, but I swear it's the easiest place for me to get ready and film. So I bought a pair of boogers literally from the pharmacy, just like very random. Because I keep seeing so many girls on TikTok doing their hair and it looks so good with the rollers. So I wanted to try that because I'm gonna be that girl. And I'm gonna be that girl, okay? And my friend Olivia, she's always doing her hair. I'm gonna insert some pictures right here. She looks so good. Her hair is always on point. And I'm always like, Olivia, you need to do my hair like that it's my turn to try my hair gets so oily all the time i'm also done with my blonde hair like i'm so tired of it and it gets so oily i'm watching a video because i have no idea how to do it oh i don't have the clips but i do have bobby pins so hopefully okay i think i have to use the straightener i just know this is gonna be a huge fail so don't expect anything because i suck at doing my hair i need you guys to tell me what to do i'm not the one giving you guys a hair tutorial okay guys do not kill me if i'm doing this wrong like i really suck this way. She's halfway to the baby hairs. Oh, it literally just. I didn't even have to use a bobby. It just stayed over there. But I can see how this is gonna look pretty bad. Should I call the expert Miss Olivia Pera? Yes, you guys are sitting on toilet paper. Miss Olivia, you need to answer. Do you guys think she's gonna answer? Because I feel like she's probably busy. Guys, I kind of don't see this working. I think my hair is too straight. Guys, I just did all shapes and sizes, but this is truly really just a test, okay? You guys cannot take me serious with this because I've never done it and it looks so messy, but you guys want to know who I look like? Doña Florinda, which is like this Mexican character from this Mexican TV show, I think. I don't know if it was a cartoon or what, but it was like this show that my grandparents used to watch and I literally look like Doña Florinda. Okay, I'm honestly too lazy to wait, so I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> Okay, now let's see if this worked. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a fail because I'm expecting it to be a fail. Oh god, my hair is probably gonna be stuck. I'm scared. Okay, wait, ouch. How the flip the girls get this out of their hair? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I have to. Oh. It worked. It kind of worked, even though I put like no effort into this. Okay, I don't know, it's probably gonna look a bit crazy, but I'm excited. Let's start from the bottom. Start from the bottom, no way. That was nothing, nothing right there. I think I did too much hair. I mean, kind of gave me like a little bit of a blowout, but bro, that's like nothing. Okay, now this other tiny one. This is why we have to test it. I've seen girls, they like roll it down. That's the one thing I actually know. So maybe if I, maybe if I roll it out, ouch. You guys are truly seeing me struggle today. What? is that okay that's kind of cute that's kind of cute it's giving us something i think if i get layers this could look really cool okay now let's do this other piece oh my lord okay. also if i do it more organized next time i think that would be much better i just hate those little things that get stuck in my hair oh okay we got something guys we got something guys. That is so pretty. I love this. Okay, I like that. I'm so I'm like so surprised that I'm actually doing okay even though I thought it was gonna be terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I just have to learn how to unroll these. Okay, it's giving us something very light. Okay, kind of looking emo right here. XD. Okay, the bangs are questionable. Why does this actually look? Hmm. Wow. Guys, why does this actually look kind of good? 
so that was really fast. It's obviously not perfect, but it looks kind of cool. Like my hair has volume. To be a test and to be my first time ever trying this, I don't think my hair looks that bad. Like I would actually continue doing this. Like I think it looks good. Let me know what you guys think. I'm probably gonna get better at it if I continue practicing my skills with hair, okay? That was it for this video. Thank you so much for staying again. Don't forget to go check out this year and I'll see you guys on the next video.